Hey you, it's Mo. I have Hourglass's new holiday palette. I've got one of them. They came out with three. I got one. I figured I'd go with the one that was, you know, the most practical for my lifestyle and my skin tone. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. We have the Tiger palette. Look at this beautiful packaging. I know. <laughs> so this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Tiger Packaging. Of the six shades, four of them are new and two of them are permanent. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna get into the details. We're gonna see what this new holiday palette from Hourglass is all about. And let's see if they did good. Let's find out. Shall we hydrate and begin? So let's get some details out of the way and then we'll get into application and all the things. But before we do that, hello again. Hi, I'm Mo, which is short for Monique. Right here on my channel, I love to test out, review, and share all things luxury beauty and skincare. I do make it a point to remind you to use the things you already have. So if you're into that stuff, consider subscribing. And if you like today's video, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Okay, so can we start off with this beautiful packaging? So all three of the palettes features artwork by the world-renowned illustrator Kate Scott. What's really cool that Hourglass did this year is that you get to pick whichever case you wanted. So I could have gone with this option and gone with the elephant for packaging or the butterfly. But I like the tiger, so I stuck with the tiger. I like that option, though. I think that's really great. These six pan palettes are a celebration of the natural world, including best selling and brand new shades of blush, bronzer, and highlighter, and finishing powder for a glowing complexion. So I have to admit, I am pretty new to the whole hourglass face. I, a long time ago, I want to say six, seven years at this point, used to love the Hourglass eyeshadows. That's actually one of my first videos here on YouTube. If you didn't know, now you know. So, so I am very familiar with the brand, but when it came to complexion and face powders, they have always been like talked about, and raved about, but I hadn't really gotten into them so much. Um, maybe for obvious reasons, I have tried their products and really enjoyed them quite a bit. So... I was excited to see uh, new new colors and all of the things. As a part of the Unlock Collection, the limited edition palettes support Hourglass's mission to unlock the cages of wild animals in captivity. So 5% of profits from the Unlocked supports the Non-Human Rights Project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals. Very sweet. I did pull a few of my Hourglass palettes. I have the holidays from last year that these were fantastic. I have this one. This has become a, a true staple for me. I have the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3. This is the darker of their palettes. I mostly use these as like bronzing products for my face to warm my face up. And I noticed one of these is in this palette here. So I'm excited for that. Um, we'll, we'll quickly kind of skim through some comparisons. I don't think I have a lot, but we'll check and we'll see. You know, we'll see all the things. I'm over here dropping things. So packaging is tin packaging. It's sturdy. It's nice. One thing I want to point out is the mirror. It's kind of, yeah, which is okay. Because, you know, you can just hold it like this. The size is nice enough where it doesn't feel bulky if you do hold it like this. But let's say you're more comfortable putting your palette down and being able to adjust the mirror. Mm. Just something to note. <laughs> Of the six shades, four of them are new. So this one is a permanent one. This is one that I have in the Ambient Lighting Volume 3 palette. This one here. This is a finishing powder, and this is Transcendent Light. Right underneath it is a new shade. This is Divine Strobe Light. And this is a strobing powder, which is pretty much a highlighting powder. In the middle here, this is a new shade. This is the Brilliant Glow... Brilliant Glow Strobe Light. This is another strobing or highlighting powder. Underneath here, we have Copper Flash Strobe Light. This is another strobing powder. This is new. Another new one here is Burnish Glow. This is a blush. Permanent shade here. This is Iridescent Rose, and this is a blush. So finishing powder, the strobing powders, these three here, and then the two blushes. Now you can apply these softly and just give yourself just a little something on the skin or you can build them up very, very nicely. So 
We're going to play around with all of that, but let me quickly swatch them for you. Transcendent light, brilliant glow strobe light, burnish glow blush, divine strobe light, strobing powder, copper flash strobe light, another strobing powder, and then the iridescent rose blush. So there we are. <laughs> all right, so I think I have all of the details out of the way. Let me bring you nice and close and let's get this thing on the face, shall we? I am using Hourglass. This is the Vanish Airbrush Primer, love. And then this is the Soft Glow Foundation. This is so good. I'm gonna apply this and some concealer. Everything will be listed down below in the description box if you're curious. My base has been applied and I set everything with my Westman Atelier powder. So we're ready to go. I am gonna go into Transcendent Light. I'm using a Wayne Goss number 11 brush. I'm gonna pick this shade up. And apply. And it gives a really nice warmth to the face. And it's such a pretty color. What's great about these is that you can mix them, create your own kind of customized finish and color on your face. That really adds super pretty warmth super pretty on the face and I really like using this as a bronzer on my skin tone. I think it looks so soft and very undetectable. Let me get super close so you can see these powders on the skin. Right? I know. We're also going to make an eye look with this palette because these colors are so pretty. Okay, let's do one side with one blush and one side with the other. Let's see. We're gonna go into Burnished Glow. Honestly, <laughs> swatch, it looks like straight orange. Wayne Goss number 14. Let's pick up. See, the thing is orange, but let's see. Yeah, this is the perfect brush for this so that it doesn't deposit too much. And there is a bit of glow in there, so keep that in mind. Okay, the powder quality is nice, but I don't love this orange color. Okay, but it's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. We're fine. Let's go into iridescent rose on my other cheek and let's see. I just cleaned off, what is that on my nose? I cleaned off my number 14. Let's apply that on the other side. Oh, that has nice glow to it. Wow. On the skin, the powders look very smooth and very nice and give really pretty glow. <laughs> don't love the orange blush. <laughs> I don't love it. Oh man. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We maybe could save it. <laughs> I'm actually going to mix the two blushes now. Let's see. I'm just going to mix them both. I'm just going to do a little bit of this and mix them both, okay? And let's see. Let's go on the side that. Okay. It's all right. I like that better. <laughs> Then the orange alone. What is this color called? Burnished Glow. This thing is so orange. Like, just look at the swatch. You can see how orange that blush is. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I like the colors mixed. So I'm going to mix 
on the other side, more so picking up this than the orange one. The colors are building up nice, maybe a little too much, but that's okay. We get to see the power of the powders. Yes. Let's go into Divine Strobe Light. Let's do that one first. This is a Wayne Goss airbrush. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's intense. I'm just gonna turn the brush around. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Wow, these are intense. Monique, what are you doing? Okay, wait. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Okay, I toned that down quite a bit, but wow. Wow. Let's go into Brilliant Strobe Light. Cleaned off the uh, Wayne Goss airbrush. Divine Strobe Light is a lot more golden on me than the Brilliant Glow Strobe Light. I personally, whoa, dropping my brush. I like this one better. I'm going to take the same brush that I used to set my face. Uh, this is a natural hair from Chikohoto. It's like a limited edition brush that they did in collaboration with Beautylish. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go into the Transcendent Light Shade. This is the finishing powder. Lightly picking that one up, tapping, and then let's just meld everything together very lightly because that shade is a little dark for me. But if you go in lightly, you can make it work. And it pulls everything together. Because if anything's like harsh and you feel it's more looking not as melted as you would like, you can do that with these powders. And they just bring everything together so nicely. Yeah, that's pretty. Now I feel it's uh, melded everything into the skin nicely. I tell you, these powders look really good on the skin. Absolutely, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I did not apply this to my face. The Copper Flash Strobe Light. You know, honestly, just look at that shade. It's a gorgeous shade, but it's like a true copper, and um, I'm actually more excited to put this on my lid. So let's just do that. I think that'll look nice as an eye look. Let's do a quick little eye look with this palette. I love that you can use these on the eyes, because you'll literally have everything you need in just one palette. Let me get a fluffy brush here.
have some thoughts after trying this palette um, that I'm going to share with you. So, Hourglass powders just look so good on your skin. Okay, look at it on the skin. You get a really pretty glow, okay? And even when you build it up, it's never too much. It still stays looking really nice. I have to give Hourglass credit. I'm going to do some comparisons for you really quick. We're going to do Tiger, and I'm going to swatch each one of these comparable ones beside it. We'll do side-by-sides really quick, and we'll see. Because I feel like there's some comparable tones comparable but if you wanted to see them side by side because if you have any of these already you need to know hey do I need this one too maybe maybe not let's see and then I have some thoughts to share with you about this okay be right back <laughs> Those swatch comparisons were helpful to you. Let's chat. Okay, so there's no denying Hourglass's formulation is top notch. Beautiful. It looks so nice on the skin. It gives such a pretty glow. And I love using these on the eyes like so much. Now, here's personally my humble opinion. <laughs> Again, formulation is fantastic. This blush is so orange. <laughs> It looks so orange on my skin tone. The way that I'll be able to use it and, you know, get use out of this palette for my skin tone is if I formulated it as such. Half, half a dip in this and then like three dips in this to make it work for my skin tone, which is fine. It's okay. I'll mix it. I'll make it work because the formula is really, really pretty. And then when they're mixed, they look really nice. Okay. Now these two shades here, this one is very copper. It's very pretty, but on my face for like a highlighting product, I'm not going to be able to use it for that. But again, the palette's beautiful. The formulation is great. It performs really nicely, applies and blends and just looks beautiful. It's just like a little bit with the colors. I'm probably going to be mixing them and, you know, all the things. So, <laughs> but I want to hear what you guys think. Comment down below. Let's talk about it. Thank you guys so much for letting me share this new Hourglass Holiday Palette with you. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.